Hi there, my name's Tony Harmer and in this video what I'm going to do is show you how to get an oil painting like effect on one of your images. If you've ever looked at anything and thought that would make a beautiful painting, well now you can try it out. So what I'm going to do here with this image, first thing actually, is turn it into a smart object because that way I've got the ability to go ahead and make as many changes as I like. I'm then going to use the Camera Raw filter. Now that has a shortcut, Shift Command A or Shift Control A, but otherwise you can find it in the filter menu just in the top just here. And you have access to the power of Camera Raw on a layer or part of a layer inside of Photoshop. And all I want to do here basically is soften this out, get rid of some of the detail because you probably wouldn't paint in all of that detail. So I'm going to use the texture slider just here and drop that down a bit and you can see how that starts to smooth out, removing some of the texture. I'm also going to add some negative clarity to soften that still further. Now remember, I'm not evaluating this as a photo, I'm evaluating it as a painting. And I'm going to use dehaze to kind of stretch some colour out of different parts of the image. If you look at the clouds just there, if I just tap P on my keyboard to turn that off and back on again, you can see what dehaze has brought out. And of course, you tune that to whatever works for you. And then just going to push up the vibrance just a little bit. And also, because it's quite saturated, drop the saturation down just a shade. Once I'm happy, I'm just going to hit OK. And of course, if you ever need to go back in and make a change, you only need to double click on Camera Raw Filter here in the Layers panel. But now I'm going to go up to the Filter menu again, all the way down to Stylize, and then choose Oil Paint. Now, you can tune this to be however you want it to be, but the number one tip for using this particular filter is turn off the lighting thing because that's the thing that normally makes it look super, super fake. And if I just click on the lighthouse here so we get that preview, if I turn the lighting on at the moment, you can see that's the stuff that really looks very, very fake. It looks like a photo of an oil painting rather than an oil painting. But when you turn it off, then you've got some real creative possibilities. You can change how much that's stylized using the slider just here and the cleanliness at the strokes using the slider just here. I'm just going to middle that one out so there's a bit of mess in between. And then the scale just here, which changes the effect uh, again and the amount of detail from the bristles. And of course, you'll tune that to whatever you need to get from your image. But if I just drop the scale down here a second, and I am actually going to push up that detail just a bit. When you look in these areas like the rocks and so on, that's really starting to work. And especially when I hit OK, you can see in the focal point of the image here, the uh, lighthouse itself, how nice and soft that is. And if I turn off the smart filters here temporarily and then turn them back on, you can see that I've got that in just a few minutes. So there you are, try out that technique for yourself and why not post your results using the hashtag isophoto and also try nominating three of your creative friends to do the same. That's it for now from me, see you later.